What's up guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to this new video. In previous videos I have installed LED lights on this Hyundai Tucson but we had an issue with that LED. We were getting canvas error code constantly on this car. First I thought it will be only on display but after 5 minutes driving it was getting irritating noise constantly. So we had to go back to the halogen bulb and finally I did the research and found this LED Best Fit Pro LED Headlight. So in today's video what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace those original halogen bulb with this LED. It comes with the adapter which can fit on this Hyundai Tucson and we're going to see if this works without getting canvas error on our display. If it works it will be great if not we're going to test it out so let's start with installation i'm going to show you all the steps and uh, we're going to check if it works or not so guys let's start with the installation so i'm going to open the hood and go to start with the one headlight and then i'm going to install on the other headlight Always make sure you use the gloves because there are some uh, sharp edges up on the metal which can cut your hand so it's best to use the gloves. So first I'm going to assemble the LED so it comes with all this manual and sticker. So it comes with this bracket which is going to fit our car. And this is the LED. To install this bracket on the LED, make sure there is a notch fits to the cable. So we are going to slide it in. And that's it for the one LED. I am going to do same thing on the other one. So these LEDs are for low beam headlight. So to remove the low beam halogen bulb, this is the cover on the low beam halogen bulb we going to remove. So we have to, to remove this, just turn it anti-clockwise. Use your finger and hands, it just rotates anti-clockwise. Once it stops, pull it out and that's it. And there is a bulb inside here. As you can see there is a bulb right there. If you can see on the camera. Let me put it on the proper angle. Okay this angle looks good. So as you can see this is the one halogen bulb so we're going to rotate that all this one also anti-clockwise so it's going to turn th that way as you can see it turned a little bit and then it stopped and now it can come outside and we can pull the halogen bulb straight out of the bracket I'm going to take one LED light, keep that bracket outside and going to install the LED inside. I'm going to align these notches inside the bracket. So let me try that. And when you install this LED, make sure it's going flat this way. So 
this side is should stay on top and the other this side should stay on the bottom Actually, I have to install the bracket first, then we can slide in the LED. So on the bracket, there's a arrow showing up. So we're going to keep this side up and go to install the bracket. Okay, so as you can see, bracket is installed. I'm going to take the LED now. As I say, this side should stay up with the cable on the top. So, I, our LED is already in. I'm going to plug in while it's uh, like that. I'm going to keep everything outside and plug it. And now I'm going to turn on the headlight and I'm going to see if everything works before I close the box. And we can turn the LED to change the pattern. So when it gets dark, I'm going to turn on the light on the garage door and then we're going to see if our beam pattern is okay or not and we can move the LED around to make sure it's perfect. Actually right now I can see the beam pattern. It's matching with the halogen bulb so it's perfect we don't need to touch that side of the led so i'm going to just close the box and i'm going to seal the light that way none of the dust or anything goes inside so to put the extra cable inside what other people do is they remove the original bracket from the cable and try to connect the led with some tape or something but instead of that i'm going to keep the whole assembly inside instead of removing the original bracket that way if this led fails we still have our original halogen bulb which we can use right away if it fails on the road we have option available so let me show you i'm going to put it inside and close the headlight so as you can see this is the whole assembly i'm just going to slide this thing inside So with the LED, I'm not able to put this connector inside together. Only option we have is to remove this cable from this adapter. To do that, I have all these tools. You need something sharp like this. You're gonna put it inside. 
and press the clip out. So these tools are useless because actually we need the heavy duty flathead screwdriver to remove this. All we have to do is push it inside here. it comes out just like that it's a little bit hard to press but it will come out so on the back side right here press it down and just like that it comes out now I'm going to connect the LED like that and I'm going to test it first I want to make sure it's a correct polarity So as you saw it works, I'm going to install the LED first, actually I'm going to put some electrical tape here to make sure we don't I'm going to put some electrical tape that way it's insulated and none of the battery positive touch any ground Now I'm going to take this dust cover and going to install it back. So finally we have installed one LED light on the one side. Let's start the light and see the difference and then I'm going to install and do same thing on the other side. So our beam pattern looks great. It's uh, almost similar, so we have installed it perfectly. So let's do it same thing on the other side.
So finally our installation is complete and to install all this all we need is flathead screwdriver to disconnect the connector from the cable and we need the tape to make sure it's fully insulated so the positive terminal of the light don't touch any of the ground and it's secure now. So this is the factory halogen bulb which came out and this is the connector. I'm going to keep it inside the box and I will leave this inside the car so if the LED fails on the road we can right away remove the LED and install this halogen bulb right away. So I'm going to run the car, we might go on drive and see if we get those uh, CAN bus code or not. So I'm going to let the car run for 5 minutes and we're going to find out if it works or not. But the LED looks good, the beam pattern is really good and the white color is good too. So let's see how it goes. So guys from last 5 minutes I am on the road and our LED is right now on but it's uh, bright outside so we cannot see on the road but I can see the LED is on and uh, there is no CAN bus errors whatsoever with the other Amazon LEDs I had the CAN bus error right away as soon as I put it on the drive but with this one I don't see anything and the LED is working really good the white 6000K color looks good too so I think this uh, brand works uh, really well on the car so they designed this LED for the car and it works properly so one thing I didn't like about this LED was uh, we have to remove the cable from the factory bracket and we have to leave it like a non insulation nothing so they should have designed such a way that we can connect the LED and even let's say we have to remove that uh, bracket from the factory cable they should have designed something that way we install those uh, cables back in into LED and it fully insulate by itself instead of we have to put the electrical tape around it so that one thing I don't like other than that everything is really good uh, and also this LED is a little bit more expensive than the other brand you can find on Amazon so I spent like around 140 Canadian dollars compared to other brands on my other car. I spent mostly around 40 to 50 dollar and it gives me same quality of light. I have used LED on many different cars. You can see my videos on the Honda Civic I use for like it's the same LED light for four years and nothing happened and it's bright as this one. So since it's designed for this car it's a little bit extra but other than that it's really good so guys i will put the amazon link to buy this led light below in the description so you can check it out and if you want to buy you can purchase from the amazon and that's all gonna be for this video so if you like this video please hit the like button below and if you like to watch this kind of video please hit the subscribe and bell icon that way you don't miss out my new videos see you next time